A few years ago, I visited the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, Russia, and there, in the middle of a surprisingly large and otherwise empty hall, I saw her, the Mona Lisa, or at least a perfect replica of the one in the Louvre. She was so much smaller in real life, like a movie star, surrounded by fans with brushes and canvases, and in trying to imitate the master, they would all get at least one thing right the same thing most people get wrong when they shoot their videos. But make it like Mona, and everyone leans forward without even knowing why. This costs you nothing and could give you everything. There's this weird blind spot people have who want to make videos that bring in business. Even when they see it, they can't fix it right away, which means reshooting, and nobody loves that. So I thought you might like to know how to see this before it becomes a problem. I'm talking about composition. Uh, no, not writing them. In video, composition is how the elements are arranged inside this frame to draw your attention to the subject. The most seductive way to do this makes your video very hard to watch. There's one way to do it that makes watching a pleasure. It's so important that most cameras have a setting that helps you create a good composition. Well, at least it puts you in the right neighborhood. In fact, I talked about it in my very first YouTube video in 2010, the tic-tac-toe board. We've barely looked at its mysteries. Number one, you need to know what those four lines mean. Let's just look at one of them right now because it's the most influential, the top line. It's for your eyes when you're the subject in the most popular size shot in video, the medium close-up. The top line is for the center of attention. If that's where your eyes are, you are the center of attention. In a long shot, we should see your head on the top line. For an extreme close-up, it would be the whites of your eyes. Now, I have to introduce a concept that, that pairs as nicely with the tic-tac-toe board as a Yoo-Hoo does with a moon pie. Headroom. When you place your eyes or your head on that top, top, that, that top center of attention line, your head ends up right where it should be. When your eyes are where 99% of people put them when they make their videos, smack in the middle of the frame, they end up with a ton of headroom which drains the authority right out of them, like some bully came along, picked them up, turned them upside down, and shook all their lunch money out. This is not attractive. On the other hand, when you respect what art teachers call the rule of thirds, you appear as the expert you are, and your authority can shine through. Now, when the top of your head shows up in the middle of the frame, the viewer's eyes go on a roller coaster ride, starting at the top of the frame, moving down to your head, then back up again and down until they get mentally nauseous. They don't know where to look because there's no stability in the frame. We want stability. Stability creates trust. We want to trust you. What good does it do to tell me about losing weight, the nature of the universe, or getting rich, when I'm spinning around in circles until I get so confused I can't tell the difference between the donkey and the tail? Ever wonder why people watch most YouTube videos less than halfway through? I'm not saying this is the only reason, though it's the one you can most easily fix. But it can be hard to see. Maybe it's because of information overload. There are 645,782 things you could learn about video. I counted them. That week I couldn't get out of bed after the Big Bang Theory went off the air. Okay. I'm kidding, sort of. But the truth is, when you think you have to learn everything, it's hard to learn anything. The good news is, you don't need to know 645,782 things. You need 40. But those 40 need to be done well. And you'll learn how to do all those in Inner Circle when the time is right. When you focus on simple elegance in your videos, you'll actually have the confidence to come up with things worth making videos about. That ability will change the way you feel about yourself, and so the way others feel about you. 
Each video becomes another signpost for your audience. Plant just the first few of them, and it won't be long before others hop on the road you've built with visible authority. Thank you.